Well, Ali, that's one thing that you and I definitely have in common, and it's probably why we get along so well, is because we both have an immense love for these grey giants. Now we've got a whole herd of elephants here. She's marching off. There, I couldn't tell you exactly how many I think are actually here. Most of them have started feeding off back down towards central. But this is just some of the herd just on the right. The bulk of them are actually down below us, but we can't get a, a clear view of any of them, unfortunately. They're all in the thicket. It's, so we're just going to wait patiently and see where these fellas go. Now pause. You're actually wanting to see some elephants today? Well, that's good. Here we go. Here they are. I've been trying to find elephants now. Obviously, we had that elephant bull yesterday. Not for very long, though. And we, we were trying to have a look for some. Both Ali and I have been looking. Oh, that's great. Look at that. We keep getting amazing shots of animals lining up in threes. It's quite beautiful. So, so yes. So, it's great that they're back. They seem to have come from the east. So, maybe our luck with elephants is going to get better and hopefully they'll stick around for this afternoon so that we can try and find them again but they're very busy they're moving they're feeding this car i think has initiated and told everyone right everyone at the back hurry up now you're taking a bit of time like i said the rest of the herd has actually moved off and into the thicket now how cool is that crossing just in front of us very relaxed they don't seem to be too bothered there's a young bull just to the right and we'll see if he's going to give anybody any trouble He's at that age where he should start tormenting the rest of the herd. But very, very nice. I think these are all these last ones are three bulls. No, there's a cow up ahead as well. The two closest to us are bulls. So they're tailing. This must be the end of the herd. Let me go up a little bit further forward because we're going to lose them. If they go into this drainage system, we'll have to wait a little bit because they do seem to be doing a lot of feeding. Hopefully, they'll pop out onto central around. Yala Road a little bit later, a little bit later, later is not a word, a little bit later is what I was actually trying to say. Hello, youngster, how are you elephant? This is so beautiful. I love spending time with these animals. It is the greatest thing to do out on safari, is spend a few hours watching these beauties go about their day. It's very, very special. They're hungry. They're exceptionally hungry today. Not stopping for long. Grabbing a trunk full, eating on the go. Perhaps they've got somewhere they need to be. An arrangement with other elephants. I'm not sure why they're in such a hurry. I'm trying to figure out what they're eating. Some of them are eating grass and then they're eating buffalo thorns. Now they're surrounding the silver cluster leaves. Oh, she is. There's one, actually one cow that is eating on the silver cluster leaf. We'll go up a little bit further forward. There's, a, there's lots of them. They're everywhere, everywhere around here. Actually, maybe we'll look into this thicket. Let's see. Just poke our nose off the road slightly. There we go. And you can see them just feeding around here. They actually are feeding and some of the woody plant species. Now, a question from Julia this morning, and the question is, besides an elephant's tail being used as a fly swatter, is there any other use for them? Well, something that we do see is we often see the little elephants, the calves, holding on to their siblings or to their mother's tails as they walk apart. So I suppose it's like a little follow me sign or a handle for a youngster. But other than that, it, it's the most effective fly swatter. I mean, elephants aren't just limited to their tails, too. They use their trunks to swat flies, they use their ears. And well, if you're a male elephant, you can use your appendage to swat flies in places that you wouldn't be able to reach. Otherwise, you'll just have to go crashing through some shrubs to try and get the flies to fly off of your body. You can see the valley that they're going down into now, and it's very, very, very thick. There's also lots of little ones, but they're tucked away, hiding at mom's side. They don't seem to be revealing themselves too much to us, unfortunately. But as these ones start to disappear, we will go around and try and find some of the bulls that are just hanging off at the back. But they're in a hurry. Well, obviously, the matriarch is, has got a point that she wants to get to at a certain time, and they do have this. They have, they have to plan their days. I don't know when they're going to have a drink. Maybe they'll have a drink at midday today, probably around 
It could be anywhere. They could go into the Mulwati and dig for water there, which would be the preferred option. Or they could also drink at Bifelzook Dam. They could still turn and go slightly more north. It wouldn't surprise me if they changed direction. Otherwise, maybe twin dams. But it's, it's difficult to try and pinpoint. If I was an elephant, I'd just go straight to the Mulwati and spend my days there. Lots of nice vegetation. Then, of course, when you're an elephant, you can dig for your own water and it's nice and fresh. Not, not stale water that's been baking in the sun for weeks and weeks. I wouldn't want to drink that. You see that? They're eating right at the base of all the bush willows. We're slowly going to start seeing them feeding on things like the silver cluster leaves that aren't necessarily as tasty. And I can't wait for them to start breaking trees and eating bark and eating roots. That's one of my favorite things. Oh, there's a little drongo like flying around, having a great time that the elephants are here. Okay. I'm just trying to think where we're going to go from here. Let's go around the other side and see if we can get another view. Now, Natalie, you're wondering if there's a reason for all their wrinkly skin. Yes, there is. It's quite thick, firstly. It's quite nice. However, with that skin, with all those wrinkles, those, those crinkles and folds, it helps create surface area. Here's a little one here, a young bull. We'll watch him in the lovely morning light. So they're able to, of course, um, with all those different folds in their skin, it helps keep them cool, surprisingly, because the shadows fall in between the, the little wrinkles. So it helps cool them down. But again, I'm sure it also helps them to protect themselves from thorns. Their skin is very, very thick, except around their ears. That's the thinnest part of skin on their body. And that's often why we see elephants with holes and various shapes in their ears, because that skin is so susceptible to being caught on a thorn and just tearing. Hmm, I wonder which row they're going to go on. Abel's got the same idea as me. He says he also wants to try and go around, so we'll let Abel go around and see if he can maybe figure out where he's going to get a good spot and then we can always head that way. We'll stick with these bulls at the end of the herd for now because the rest of them have completely disappeared down into this this wooded area. There's lots of different trees here, my goodness, for them to feed on. Now Michael, you're wondering if a cow gets separated from her herd, would she join another one? Maybe Though I have seen it before where different families of elephants come down to a watering hole. Now, whether that's just because they were competing for water, I'm not sure. But they're not necessarily always friendly to other elephants. They love the individual members within their herd. And during the dry seasons, they, they do come together. But if they're not necessarily doing a lot of socializing with other elephants other than their own herd. So, so maybe, you know, elephants are intelligent enough and, and they've got just an amazing social structure uh, that they would, would maybe accept something. Sorry, the spider web is bothering me. I have to take it off. Come here, spider web. It's gone now. Um, so, so they might. I've never seen it happen, though. It, it wouldn't surprise me again, though. But... Um, I wouldn't want to actually see something like that. Something like that it would be terrible if an elephant got separated from a herd. Can you imagine how distressed she would be? They're all now disappeared. Can you believe that? It's a big herd of elephants too. Let's we'll follow Abel and go around. We might get them again. Let's see. Whew, that's a bump. We better slow down for that one. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll go around. We'll keep just driving about, seeing if we can get another view of these elephants. We might have to play the patience game. So I'm going to send you across to Ellie in the meantime, who's still trying to track the big cats.